to me, this is probably the prettiest Trans Am I've ever seen in my life. It's the red hobnail interior. I love it. It's rare. It's gorgeous. And in this case, it looks factory brand new. This car has just turned 18,000 original miles. Yeah. Original paint, original interior, original car. It is uh, it's phenomenal. A doctor ordered it brand new. He had a little plaque made and uh, ordered by Dr. So-and-so. I took the plaque off the dash, fortunately in all the glue, no damage, no harm, no foul. But the car was a toy. It stayed in the garage. It wasn't used. It hasn't been driven. It's been adult owned. Uh, one guy between me and the original owner. And this car is registered in my name. It's my car. Um, if you know me and been following me and we deal in some of the nicest muscle cars on the planet, uh, you have to know that uh, this is a nice car. I love the Survivor car. This is a Survivor. One of the best Survivors I've ever seen. The 79 Trans Am, according to Barrett Jackson, is the fastest appreciating muscle car on the planet. They're really going up fast. This car is a factory, four-speed, factory WS6, full option car. I think it has every factory option. It doesn't have a CB radio, but I think it has everything else and some stuff, quite frankly, you never ever see. Uh, all four of the side spoilers, uh, you just never see that. I've seen it on a couple of other red cars that were loaded as well, but very, very rare. And oh, by the way, the shaker on the car is the earlier generation style, and it's a functional one. If you prefer the original style, it's right here. It's gorgeous. Put it right back on the car. Brand new in every way. Basically, it's like going back in time and going to the Pontiac dealership and ordering a new car. Um, it's been driven, and there are some very minor flaws. You might notice that the side molding that I absolutely hate, the 1970s style side molding that came on every 79 Trans Am, my son and I removed that. We actually took a video to show people how to remove side molding in case you hate it as well. Um, it came off. Since this is an original paint car that lived its whole life in the garage, it, the paint matched perfectly. It was no issues whatsoever. And a couple little places where they had the heavy bond that really causes that stuff to stick. Uh, we left a couple little flaws in the paint, but to me, the car looks vastly superior with a couple of minor flaws than the ugly side molding. My opinion, you may love it, um, so there it is. We'll take a drive in this car. I think you'll be impressed. It does everything it's supposed to do. You'll notice that the original radio um, is in the trunk. I'll show you, I'll have a picture of that. But the bottom line is it has a 1979 Pioneer Super Tuner, period correct sound system. Very cool. It's, uh, it's luxury. It, everything is power. Power windows, power door locks, tilt, air conditioning. The T-tops are fabulous. They're like brand new. The rubber seal around the T-tops. This car really looks brand new. Other than the fact it is a 1979 car, and it has been driven 18,000 miles. It really has no wear, no fatigue, extremely impressive, and absolutely an eye popper. People stop in their tracks when they see this car. Very, very impressive. You'll love it. A 79 Trans Am is something that you can drive cross country feeling no pain whatsoever, and it's the coming car. If you want a good one, this is it. There may not be a better one out there. Go for it.